Hi guys, in this video we're going to show you how to make this high flammable gas with some ordinary water and electricity. Check it out! First of all, you need of course, a bottle. Make sure that you get one with a bright cap. That will make it easier to put the generator plate inside the bottle. Then get some glue and an old useless ruler. After that, get some dishwasher soap, a nearly 2 meter long cable and some clear tubing. And lastly, get yourself some stainless steel plates. Now you're ready to construct your generator. First, we're going to prepare the cap. You have to make three holes, one big hole for the tubing and two smaller holes for the cables. By heating up an old screw or nail, you can easily make the hole inside the cap. And if it's too tight, correct it with some scissors, so that the tubing fits snugly. Repeat the same for the cables and you should end up like this. Then prepare your plates by sanding them in a zigzag cross. Next, get yourself a ruler with a hole on the top or the bottom. Place the plates on each side of the ruler and insert the cable. Twist the cable around and make sure that the cable gets contact with just one plate. Connect the second cable with the second plate. Then put the remaining plates on each side and secure them with some zip ties. Pull the cables through the tiny holes in the cap and screw it on the bottle. Insert the tubing and glue all sides of the cables and the tubing. Then, fill your bottle with water and put some dishwasher salt in it. While the salt is dissolving itself, you can get your power supply and if you haven't got one, just get yourself three strong batteries and connect them in a parallel way. After that, get yourself a balloon and some rubber bands and put the balloon on the tubing and wrap the rubber band around a few times. And as soon as you connect the cables to the batteries, you will notice two things. Suddenly, a lot of bubbles will appear in between the plates, which fill up the balloon. And if you're ready, just set it on fire. How cool was that? For a safe detonation, just light up yourself a candle and tape the balloon on a long stick. It's as easy as that and you can get a pretty long bang of this system. So please be careful with this high flammable gas and make sure that you subscribe to eHubberfrog.